Now you have to remember that I don't know anything about bows and arrows. Last time I pulled back a bow and arrow was I was 10 years old. I am learning a whole new craft and I've stumbled onto a job that I absolutely love. So it's really interesting talking to the people that, that build these because they really they really love them and we when they're built they use all kinds of exotic woods that's the only thing we use each one is handmade and, and, and totally different I love these ones these bam they're, well, let's see if I can, these are um, bamboo vipers right here or uh, savannah that's a viper and a savannah I'm still learning what they are and I really like them because well they're they're really cool and they're easy to paint and then there's there's a few others that they do uh, that they have in the catalog and I'm just amazed because I've was sitting down to lunch one day and Manager came in and said, well, look lively, you know, we're having a tour. And people come in and tour the whole plant. It's, it's, it's just great. And they come in and, and we're the only section that makes wooden parts for them. Or wooden, we, we do all this stuff right here. And then, before I brought, brought my bows home, I wanted to show you, I had these made, right here, and purchased. I ordered these, I took an order slip back to this department, and a very nice lady made these for me. And they have something on them called field points. But that is one of the most colorful rooms in the place. It's got all kinds of these different colored their um, fletchings or something or other. And then the, the guy that runs the this department, I'll go I'll go in and he'll he'll tell me why the the uh, fletchings are the colors they are which ones to use on top of the when you're shooting all kinds of neat stuff that I, I have no idea about so this is going to be a video series on the two bows that I bought from this company And when I get them done and paid for, I'll bring them home. They're one of a kind. I believe they should have been used in the movie myself. But I just don't know. I haven't seen the first movie, so I don't know what's going on. But I just wanted to post on YouTube that I do have two of the prototype traditional wooden bows made for the Hunger Games movie. Now what what they're going to use in this movie I don't know. So it's just a really I think it's a really fascinating story that's all. All right, thank you.